Yo, what is up guys? It's Pedro here and in today's video, I'll be talking about the report from Connor Hughes that the Jets are interested in quarterback Sam Howell and if the commander should trade him to the New York Jets. If you guys are new, make sure to subscribe, hit that like button and that notification bell as well so you never miss a video. Alrighty, so let's get into this and I didn't really see this report so shout out to Abdullah for letting me know from DMV Sports so make sure you guys check him out. I'll probably link it in the description but I've been busy with some tests and stuff, but I saw this report. He told me about this report, looked into it a little bit, and it's nothing crazy, but it does bring up a good talking point and discussion about what should the commanders do with Sam Howell. So let me read the report first, and then we'll talk about what it means. So this is from Connor Hughes, who I believe, yeah, he's a Jets and Giants reporter. He said, some people within the Jets organization like commanders quarterback Sam Howell per Connor Hughes. And you look into it and you, you actually read the article. It's nothing crazy. He, you know, someone says do the, you know, it's a mailbag. And someone said, do the Jets kick the tires on a trade for Sam Howell? And he's talked about how he loves the idea of it. And he said, how proved he can play. There are flaws. His cap hit would be under one mil each of the next two years. And um, that matters a lot to the Jets. And the part, I guess, that got some attention. There are those in the Jets building who believe he can play too. So they're kind of high on him, which I guess makes sense. And I guess, you know, brings up the question, would they trade for him if he's available? And I personally, and I know Sam Howell didn't have the best season. He was up and down. He had a really good first half of the season and a bad second half, a really bad second half. Let's just not sugarcoat it. I mean, we can look at it. The first half, you know, it was what? Those are, yeah, the touchdowns. One touchdown, one interception, then two and zero, zero oh and four, one zero, two one, three zero, zero one, um, four one, one one, three zero. Like right there, after that Seahawks game, everyone, including myself, felt good about Sam Howell and thought he could be a potential franchise quarterback. And then after that, man, he threw what one, two, three, four touchdowns, and then what? four, five, six, eight, 10, 12, 12 interceptions over the last one, two, three, four, five, six, seven games. Just unexcusable. That's just, it's just bad. It's just really bad. And obviously the offense wasn't helping him a ton. The offensive line wasn't amazing. The play calling wasn't great. The playmakers were dropping some passes, but let's not, you know, say that Sam Howell didn't have anything to do with it. He was part of the problem. And a lot of it was a mental thing because he was playing at a you know pretty good level the first half of the season, and it just he fell off a cliff after that Seahawks game. And yeah, that brings up the question: like, what is he in this league? I think at the very least, he's a guy that can you know is a backup, a high quality backup. And again, that was his first season playing, so he still has time to develop, and he can change, and he can learn from his mistakes. Maybe a different offense will help him. Maybe different coaches or playmakers will help him, with, you know, a little bit as well. But he has to get better as well, and he has to learn from his mistakes, taking too many sacks and stuff like that. But he did show, at least for half a season, he can play. What you know, he can play. He can be a starting quarterback in this league for half the season. And then the other half, he showed that like he can't even be a backup. But you know, that, that's usually how backups work. You know, they'll play well for a decent amount. And then after that, they'll play poorly. Like Heineke, we had some good spurts and some bad spurts. And those are guys usually that are high quality backups. And I think that's what Sam Howell is at this point, has the potential to be a little bit more. If he really works at it and things go his way, maybe he can be a low tier starter or mid tier starter. You know, I'm not writing him off completely. I am writing him off in terms of he's the next franchise quarterback for Washington. I think we've moved past him. I think we're going, you know, moving towards picking a guy at number two or one if we want to trade up for him. So that brings up the question. If another team is interested like the Jets are in trading for Sam Howell, do we do it? Here's my thing. I just don't think we should trade Sam Howell unless we're getting very good draft compensation, which I don't think we're going to get. I think the value for him would probably be like a fourth round pick. I personally, though, wouldn't trade him for a fourth. And I know a lot of you guys might be like, why you're crazy. He's not great. Yeah, he might not be great. But, you know, backup quarterback is very valuable in this league. And not only is he a backup, he has two years left on a rookie deal making like less than a mil each season. That is huge for a backup quarterback. Some of these teams are paying a lot of money for their quarterbacks, you know, for backups. Jacoby Brissett, we paid him 10 mil. Uh, A lot of these guys are getting paid a lot of money. 
And when you can go ahead and, you know, keep Sam Howell as your backup and, you know, hopefully you don't have to play him and hopefully our next quarterback stays healthy, knock on wood. But if he, you know, if Sam Howell does have to play, you know, he can at least play, you know, can be solid for a few games or has the potential to be solid for a few games. And he knows a lot of his teammates, you know, that are still going to be on the team next year. So it just makes sense, I think, to keep Howell. If you're getting a third round pick, which I don't think we're going to get, I'm just not... I'm just bringing up the possibility of a third round pick. Then I would do it. That's what I think the value of Sam Howell is to this team. Again, a cheap backup for a couple more years that has a chance to be a little bit better than that versus trading him for a fifth round pick. I just don't really think it's worth it because I know Sam Howell was a fifth round pick, but very rarely do you find, you know, good backup quarterback very good backup quarterbacks in the fifth sixth round and I think how even has a chance to be better than a backup quarterback so you combine you know him already being at least a good backup with the contract that he's on I just don't think it makes sense to move him for a fifth round pick when you're going to have to spend that fifth round pick or fourth round pick on a backup quarterback anyways or you're going to have to spend money on it regardless it's not like we have an excess of quarterbacks like Sam Howe is our backup. So I just do not think it makes sense to trade Sam Howell. He's a good guy in the locker room too. Uh, never had any issues and he's a, he's a solid leader. So keep him around. I mean, I guess he's not a crazy, he's a more of a silent leader type like Justin Herbert, but still a good guy to have in the locker room. Everyone likes him and let's see, maybe he grows a little bit and hey, guess what? If Let's say we draft Drake May or Jaden Daniels or trade up for Caleb Williams and those guys, whoever it is, absolutely balls out but Sam Howe also develops into a when he does play if someone gets hurt in the preseason again hopefully it doesn't happen knock on wood that one of these guys gets hurt then maybe he you know balls out and he shows you you know other teams that he's worth maybe more maybe he can be a starting quarterback in this league and maybe you get a second or third round pick I know that's like down the line but it could happen so I would say just take the chance on Sam Howell and keep him here versus getting a fifth or sixth round pick from him. I just really don't see much upside for trading him for that. Unless again, you're getting a fifth round pick a four, or a, sorry, a third round pick. If you're getting a fourth round, I would think about it, but a third round pick, I, I would definitely do it because you can get a key impact player in the third round and, you know, either an offensive line or like someone to fill out this team and help out our young quarterback so that's it for today's video hope you guys did enjoy if you did hit that like button subscribe if you guys are new and turn on that notification bell so you never miss a video peace guys